sorting out options and next steps for your future through the lens of being a servant and a steward isn't an easy task, especially when it's a jumbled mess in your head. And identifying the best option among many is even harder. That's why the Future Options tool can be helpful. Getting it all out in the open allows you to evaluate your options and compare them comprehensively and wisely. It also helps you share and invite others into your future options decision-making process. Friends, family, coaches can't enter into pray or consult with you unless they can see what you see. And unless you can see your future options clearly, others certainly can't. It also helps you pray and journal and mark your progress over time and listen for the shepherd's voice. Unless you know what your cares really are, it's kind of hard to cast them on the Lord. And here is a big bonus. Your parents or friends will think you are a genius if you show them this. Using the Future Options tool will help your parents, coach, spouse, see that you are really serious about making a wise decision about your future. And they will respect the time and effort you put into the process. So here are the steps to fill out the Future Options Worksheet. First of all, stop and pray. You could even do this right now as I'm talking. And ask the Good Shepherd, ask the Holy Spirit specifically to lead you. Next, list out your top four future options. Not one, that's just a conclusion. Not two, that leads to binary thinking. But three to four options allow for God to lead and provides a context for your process. For the pros and cons section, just use logic. Consult your brain alone. Ask yourself which choice is the most logical. And then list the pros and cons in the boxes. Now state your gut reason for saying yes or no to each option. And you only benefit from this section if you're completely honest with yourself. Your reasons might include for various options, no, because of how my family might react, or yes, because I really don't want to move, or no, because I like this woman. This also helps people you share this tool with because others understand your underlying emotional preferences toward this option. Now, this is a good stage to invite one or two trusted friends into your process to pray for you and ask you clarifying questions. And no matter what, they will be proud of you and cheer you on. Now, here's the five things over for you. For this step, just use the five things to fill in the chart. And in case you're wondering what they are, it's just a simple list of proverbial tools recommended for navigating your future plans. Here's a 30-second crash course. Number one, kingdom vision. Ask yourself, what's your goal? And where do you want to be in a certain number of years? What's your kingdom dream? Number two, team. Who are your buddies? The people who will support you on your kingdom journey. Write them down. Number three, plan. What's your strategy? How are you going to get there? Write it down. Number four, ongoing equipping. For this one, come up with places, people, events that will keep you learning and equipped. Write it down. Number five, coach. Who walks with Jesus that is already doing this particular option that I could connect with? Now, if you at this point, if you want a little bit more insight into the five things, you might want to watch this quick video. Now keep in mind, the five things elements are obviously present in some options, while other elements in another option might need a little exploring to discover. And some things may not exist, but with some intentionality on your part, you could make it work. Now the big three, wise others, scripture, and God's voice. Wise others, once you have completed the tool to this point, ask a couple of wise mentor types to look at what you've compiled and give you any input. As you allow the Lord to lead you through this process, record the input that they give you about your options. Scripture, ask the Holy Spirit for specific passages of Scripture to anchor you in His will and give you insight into each of your options. Spend lots of time in the Word during this season of seeking. And you might want to review familiar passages where He has led you in the past. God's voice. Often God speaks through Scripture or Kingdom vision or wise others or finding a team or simple pro-cons. 
And when Jesus speaks, wow, wow, that is worth the whole journey of seeking his will, to find not only direction, but the Lord himself. After you're done with the future options chart, record the option that scores the highest in your mind at that point and date it. And then schedule two more dates out in the future to update and make needed changes again. This will allow you to see the patterns of how God is leading you. Okay, now go have fun. The Lord is with you.